So how do you feel about today's game? Uh, I'm pumped. Uh, came out with a win. Uh, just played our hardest. I mean, came out with 100%. Just, I mean, did, did, did work and came out with a victory. I mean, you were all over the place today. You had some big plays. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, I mean it was a, it's a defensive thing. I mean, we're one team. Uh, I mean, we're just, I mean, go out there, get stuff done, and just thank God for this victory. It's, I don't know, it's an amazing feeling. Uh, I mean, it, it was just a battle. There's no doubt about it. Uh, I mean, we knew it was going to be like this all week. Um, it was just great to come out with a win, and it was great playing against Xavier. Uh, these guys are tough, man. They do it right, so just a great win overall. Yeah, Coach Kyle said from the beginning, you know, the two Catholic schools are going to come out and you're going to get hit hard. And that's what we did the whole game. They're hitting us, we're hitting them. That's what we did for 48 plus. Uh, something we've been saying all year, special teams win championships. We wouldn't have did it without our special teams today. We worked real hard on our special units. Got it done. I think I'd also like to give a shout out Jasper Howard and his family at UConn. We put this special decal, and as did St. Xavier, both of us honored him by putting this de decal on our helmet today. So it's, it's, it's about a bigger effort and something a little bit bigger than us. But it was a great game and we got things done. Yeah, like we got to step it up on how like some things don't go right with like, I don't know, the violence and stuff like that. Like, I think it's right for the young people to step up instead of the older people to do it all the time. We didn't adjust to it real well, and that's on me. That's nobody else's fault but mine, and I'm going to I'm gonna look at it and get back to the drawing board. And I'm, you know what, the kids played their hearts out. i got to look at myself and say, what can I do to help them, help these guys get better, and that's what we're going to do, and we're going to get better. We, lo we lost to a heck of a football team today. I don't know if Fish talked about it, but the four turnovers that he ah, kills you. Can't happen. You can't turn the ball over that many times against a team that qual a quality team like Ignatius. If if we don't turn the ball over in the first half, who knows? You don't know what the situation would be, but that's not what happened. And they capitalized and they made plays. And you know what? We're going to get back to the drawing board and we're going to get better. Talk about the fourth and sixth play over here. The, the, I think it was an 11-yard reception. Yeah, I, I don't know that we put ourselves in a real good position defensively and they converted, and that's what it comes down to. They made plays when it counted and we didn't. A great game, you know, today, obviously, uh, just like last year, the year before. Uh, right. This is always a heavyweight match, you know, and, and uh, you know, in full realization that both of us were already in the playoffs. Mm. With the, this wasn't needed okay. to be in the playoffs. Okay. We're, we're, we've got the points. They have the points. I mean, but you see the intensity being played because this is a heavyweight fight, you know. It wasn't in. Nobody was pull, pulling anything back. And, uh, you know, we, we, we they had some turnovers, and, and that helped us get back into the flow. And, and uh, you know, the defense made some nice adjustments, and, and uh, offensively we were, you know, blending the run in the pass. And, I'm, I, you know, as you know, Mark was – I haven't seen Mark on practice field since Wednesday because he had the flu. Right. right. So uh, got to give the kid a lot of credit because that was well, – you know, who knows what we were going to have today. I, I wasn't sure if he'd even be there, you know. So give him a lot of credit. What did you say to the guys at halftime? Because they came oh, flying. Yeah, I, I mean, we made it, it, it. It's just, uh, you know, please don't look at the scoreboard. Do not look at the clock. In a game like this, you don't do that. You just play. You just play right in front of you. Somebody will tell you the game's over. Because you start worrying about that, you get squirrely. Just go ahead. Play the game, man. Just, just battle each one. So I think our kids did, and I think their kids did. So it was just a great football game. So excitement. But maybe we'll see each other again. Lord knows. <laughs> Uh, and you guys were wearing the number six on the helmet. Right, right. Um, that that certainly is an uh, as a statement uh, about um, youth violence. A uh, young man um, from Connecticut uh, was stabbed. A, a player, his number was six, and the Xavier kids and our kids. Uh, really, the kids did it. I didn't. I didn't. Tw you know, this was their idea uh, because it, what, our, a lot of our kids are really in the last so month or so, maybe more, really been trying to do some statements about youth violence, how terrible this thing is, you know, and, and, and uh, more and more teams are kind of joining the, joining the pursuit on this. And, and uh, you know, you just hate to see young people fighting young people and, and turning it into tragedy. So, so maybe it's a small little gesture, but that's the right thing to do.